floor. Our children, our teachers, our staff are my family. CPF is ripping us apart. Yeah. We are not under resourced. We are under resourced by CPF. Yeah. 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 CPS once said, the way to close a school is to starve them of resources. The two best programs have been starved of resources. We fundraisers for our share. We've been supported by companies and people nationwide to help our orchestra program. Yeah. 20 volunteers gave our hallways a makeover. Donations and fundraisers were paid for our sensory room and occupational therapy room. At every meeting, press conference, rally, every step I have taken to Springfield, I think of our children, their faces in the halls, the smiles, and the cheers. I can't believe that there is a CPS school hit list and Lafayette's still on it. Thank you. from both parents from Lafayette and Vicar Dyke Community Association. Right. We'll have uh, Magdalene Thurman come at this time. Rosemary, Rosemary. I'm sorry, Rosemary Vega. All right. Hey. 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 Hello, my name is Rosemary Vega. I am a Vicar Dyke member and a parent of two children at Lafayette School. I have lived in Humboldt Park for 30 years and I myself attended Lafayette. This is the reason why I am fighting for no schools to close. We are here today to fight CPS attacks on our children. Yeah. CPS is discriminating against students with special needs and disabilities at Lafayette and across our city. Alderman yeah. Roberto Maldonado who said that Humble Park parents won't fight back has done nothing to stop the discrimination taking place in our community. Yeah. Yeah. Alderman Maldonado has done nothing to stop the school closing. Yeah. Yeah.